The dire wolf was a massive prehistoric predator that roamed the Americas during the Ice Age. It looked similar to a gray wolf, but was heavier, with a stronger build and more powerful jaws. It likely hunted in packs and preyed on large herbivores like bison and horses. Despite the similarities to modern wolves, DNA evidence shows it was a distinct species, not a direct ancestor of today's wolves or dogs. It went extinct about 13,000 years ago, likely due to a combination of climate change and the disappearance of its main prey. In pop culture, the dire wolf became widely known through Game of Thrones, where it was depicted as a giant, loyal, and intelligent beast linked to the Stark family. Scientists have recently made headlines by announcing the birth of three wolf pups with traits of the extinct dire wolf. However, the reality is more nuanced. In April 2025, Colossal Biosciences, a U.S.-based biotech company, revealed that it had created three wolf pups, Romulus, Remus, and Khaleesi, using advanced gene editing techniques. They extracted DNA from ancient dire wolf fossils and identified key genetic differences between dire wolves and modern gray wolves. By editing 20 specific genes in gray wolf embryos to match those of the dire wolf and implanting these embryos into domestic dog surrogates, the pups were born in late 2024 and early 2025. But the question is, are these true dire wolves? Not exactly. While the pups exhibit some physical traits reminiscent of dire wolves and are larger than typical gray wolves, they are not genetically identical to the extinct species. Experts emphasize that these animals are genetically modified gray wolves rather than true resurrected dire wolves. The three pups are currently housed in a secure 2,000-acre ecological preserve. This controlled environment allows scientists to monitor their development and behavior closely. Colossal Biosciences aims to use such projects to advance genetic engineering techniques and explore the potential of de-extinction. They believe that reviving extinct species, or at least their functional equivalents, can help restore lost ecological functions and biodiversity. However, this approach has sparked debate among scientists and conservationists. Bringing back extinct animals like the dire wolf may sound like science fiction come true, but it comes with major ethical and conservation concerns that shouldn't be ignored. From an ethical standpoint, one major issue is animal welfare. These genetically engineered wolves aren't born naturally. They're created in labs, often using surrogate mothers like domestic dogs. This raises questions about the pain, stress, or medical complications the animals might face during development or after birth. Some ethicists argue that creating life just to study it or to satisfy human curiosity, is fundamentally wrong. Another ethical dilemma involves the idea of playing God. Should humans really interfere with nature to this extent? Extinction, while tragic, is often part of the natural process. Reversing it might not always be wise. Plus, there's concern over what comes next. If dire wolves are brought back, What's stopping us from trying to revive other, more dangerous or controversial species? Conservationists also have big worries. First, there's the issue of money. De-extinction projects are extremely expensive, and many believe those funds would be better spent protecting endangered animals that are still alive today. Efforts to save elephants, tigers, or the red wolf, a real endangered species, could benefit greatly from that investment. 
Then there's the environmental impact. Dire wolves lived in ecosystems that no longer exist. Releasing them into today's wild could disrupt the balance of nature, harm existing species, or even backfire by creating new threats. Plus, if these lab-grown animals breed with wild wolves, they could pass on unintended traits that mess with the gene pool. Lastly, there's the risk of sending the wrong message, that extinction isn't permanent or a big deal because we can just bring species back. This could reduce the urgency people feel about saving animals that are currently endangered. In short, while the science is fascinating and full of potential, it needs to be handled with extreme caution. Just because we can bring something back doesn't always mean we should. While the idea of bringing back the dire wolf captures the imagination and showcases the power of modern science, it also raises serious ethical, ecological, and conservation concerns. These creatures aren't truly the same as their extinct ancestors, and their return could bring unintended consequences for animals, ecosystems, and even our attitudes toward extinction. As exciting as de-extinction sounds, we must ask not only if we can do it, but whether we should. Sometimes, protecting what we have is more important than chasing what we've lost.